tomorrow at Emirates Stadium. How are you feeling ahead of the game? Good afternoon. Uh, with uh, finding our, our, our focus in, uh, in two, two ways. One is uh, this competition, it's very important for us. It's uh, one way for one title and, and one way for go to two champion leagues in this year. And the second is uh, the focus, the second focus is in our work. For continuing improving, continuing also taking uh, meal with the players, uh, taking responsibility, taking confidence, and above all, uh, I want to continue in in any case uh, with our supporters with uh, with the same speed that like at the like the, the last matches against Blackpool, against Leicester, against against Liverpool, and tomorrow is uh, a very good test for us also for 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 this match and for these two ways that I am speaking. It was a very close game, so what did you learn about our opposition? First is the respect for, for them because uh, they are a, a team with a very good player, but a very good history also in this competition. And uh, they changed the, the coach, but uh, I think for very good matches, very big matches and a very good test in this competition for 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 thinking also the f the first the first position uh, against us but uh, we want uh, tomorrow with the respect uh, to do uh, a, a big a big a great uh, match with with our personality can i i know you have a, a an injury update on your website can i get your opinion on two of your injured players i see that monreal wasn't training with the, with the rest today is he is he now not going to be involved yeah. now uh, at, at the moment uh, we continue with the injuries with with uh, with Mavro Panos with uh, with also is, is working with us but uh, not uh, for 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 uh, start to to, to playing with us uh, Laurent Coscielli but he is getting better uh, he's training with us and then uh, Nacho uh, we we are with with him with with a with a very precaution moment because uh, we don't want uh, uh, to repeat uh, the the same injury and at the moment he is starting to try but not uh, for do all for, with us and uh, for tomorrow uh, he is in he is in uh, in the in the group. He isn't. No, he isn't in the group. He isn't in the group. Good news Stop. about as you say, Koscielny is now training with with the rest of the players. How long before he can? Be in the group. The most important is uh, his feeling every day, and, and uh, he can feel better each training for for with us and, and for him. And uh, with the calm, uh, he's more more near, close to to be with us uh, for think also in the competition games. But uh, at the moment, with calm, we are happy with him. He's feeling well. And uh, after a, a more more month uh, without uh, the, the team, without the, every training with, with the team, I think the most important is he's every day with us and, and getting better every day. And uh, we are going to think after the, the international break how, how we can, we can uh, continue working and how we can uh, start with him to do things for, for, for start uh, playing games. Um. Obviously, a one win away from qualifying for the next stage of the Europa League. Will that affect your decision in terms of who plays? Eh, con una victoria se calificaría el Arsenal para el próximo turno. Eso va a afectar las decisiones que tomas. Uh, of course, the, the first, uh, the first uh, mind for us is is uh, finish the first in this group. And tomorrow is very important match uh, because he's against the second team at the moment in the table, and and because if we win, we are in the first in the in this group, and uh, is our 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 clear target tomorrow. Scotland, um, with the injury to Socrates recently, yourself and Rob Holding have been playing together quite a lot. Is that something that's really benefiting your relationship on the pitch now? Yeah, well, it's always uh, important when you play in uh, in a central uh, defensive position that uh, your partner next to you, you know what, what he's doing, you, he knows what you're doing. But um, 
And football, you have always to adapt. It's not uh, always you're not gonna play always with the same players. So um, for me, it's important that uh, I have a person next to me uh, that uh, I think um, we 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 can we can play with each other. That's the case with Rob and with with Sokra and of course with Lolo as well. And with uh, Mavro, I have been playing as well. So um, with with everyone, really, I have a good relationship. It doesn't matter if we play a lot of games together or not. But even in training, uh, when we when we do play together, I feel that uh, with every player that have been playing uh, in that position, I felt I felt quite uh, comfortable. And then, obviously, with Rob in the in the last games, we got uh, we got good results. So um, I'm very happy for that as well. Anybody else? Squad round, you're obviously on a very good run at the moment uh, of results. I just wondered, what do you think is the biggest things that Unai has added to Arsenal this year compared to last year? Well, I think um, for for me personally, uh, the the biggest thing was that um, he's someone who really knows what what he wants from each player. He tells you exactly what what he wants to what he wants you to do, but then in the same time, he gives you freedom to. To expose your talent, um, when, for example, when we don't have the ball, he he tells you exactly where to stand and where how to get the ball from the opponent. And uh, when we have the ball, he gives you the options that you can use, but still you can decide which option you're gonna choose. So, for me, is it's like um, a good mix between uh, freedom, but still very disciplined, uh, and and having the same plan in the whole team. And I think that's. What uh, what we saw, especially against uh, Liverpool, I think we came out. That was the first game where I, I felt like we came out from the first minute and 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 we were everywhere until the 90, 90th minute. So um, yeah, I, I feel like there's a good mix be- between discipline and still a lot of freedom. Scott, can I ask? Has there been more input from Steve Bold this season? Is there a bit more input from Steve Bold this season in terms of defensive play? I think Steve is uh, someone who is always there, always giving us a hand. And uh, with his experience, obviously, when he tells you something that he sees in training, um, you you are listening very carefully because, uh, as I said, with his experience, you have to listen to him. Um, But um, I don't feel that uh, he's now trying to create something new. He's very careful looking what we're doing especially when we're doing things wrong because when things are going good it's very easy to not 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 look at the small mistakes but uh, he still looks at everything and when he sees something where we can improve he's always there to try and give us a hand do you, do you feel the team is maybe a bit more defensively solid this season well um, I think that we are very good attacking and that makes the defensive work uh, as well a bit easier because when you when you attack well and even when we lose the ball we are we are kind of uh, pressing straight away and trying and win the ball back straight away high up the pitch so that makes it for us easier to to defend because you don't have to go always 60 70 yards back to win the ball back in your own box so i think um, we are very good attacking and still while we are attacking we try and focus on Prepare when when we lose the ball to be in the right position to recover it as quick as possible. And you think maybe some of the last few players are a bit more defensively minded rather than pastoral? No, I think the midfield players are defensively minded when they have to be. But when we have the ball, um, we have the same. Um, th- th- those players they are trying as well to create things uh, up front because we don't have defensive players and offensive players. We try to be. We try to work as a team because we try to build up from the back. So it's we have to play forward from the back. And when we haven't got the ball, when we're pressing, we're pressing from the front and we're defending from the front. So when we have the ball, we are all offensive players. And when we lose the ball, we are all defensive players. Last one, James. Just following up on that, how much? I mean, you, you know, he was so widely praised after the Liverpool game. How impressed have you been with how Lucas Torreira settled in, and how much easier does it make your job having someone like him in front of you? Yeah, I'm very happy for him. Um, he played as well in my in my uh, one of my ex clubs in Sampdoria. So um, when he came here, uh, of course, it's not easy because it's a different uh, different type of football uh, in England and 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 in Italy. 
But um, yeah, you have to give to give credit to him because he's someone who works hard, who wants who wants to work hard, and uh, who shows that on the on the pitch as well. And obviously against Liverpool, he recovered a lot of balls, and uh, obviously that makes it not only easy for for me or for the defender, it makes it e- uh, easier for the whole team because then, as long as you have the ball, as more. Uh, opportunities you have to to score a goal, but uh, overall I think you have to give him credit because I know myself I changed a lot of leagues and a lot of countries, and to settle in it's not easy. And I think he's done it brilliantly well. Thank you, folks. Must if you want to go with Dan. Please. Yeah. Please. Thank you. We'll a few minutes for the English newspapers and a half past ten deadline tonight.